if a rematch doesn't happen, people want to see Shakur and Devin. People want to see Tank and Devin. Can Devin beat those two guys? With what he has right now, no. Hmm. With what he has right now, I don't think so. But can he develop? That leaves, that remains to be seen, but he's going to have to do it expeditiously because there's no more soft touches, bro. It, it, where you going? You got Shakur around the corner. You got, you know, Javante right there. You got, you know, even a puncher like Ryan Garcia. You, you see what I'm saying? So, um, Man, he, he gonna have to get some lessons, bro, for real. Because like I can talk in private. I'm I'm gonna lock it behind my YouTube channel, and I'm gonna give you the real breakdown and what I saw in the in his and what right now what I feel is his ability and what I didn't see. I can break that down. It's gonna be harsh, but it's gonna be real. And if they respect the game, then they'll hear it loud and clear because it's gonna be truth. Because it's on it's on film, but everybody might can't see it. You see what I mean? Because I know people can't see through my eyes and through my vision. So yeah, I can do that, but it's gonna be harsh, but it's gonna be real. And if they really respect the game, they'll look at that as constructive criticism and get better. But I know exactly what he need to do. I saw what I know what I didn't see. And I know why he's struggling with power. You know, I know why. But, you know, that I got to get in the trenches with a guy in order to make a difference. You feel me? So, you know, hey, man, I got the information. I got the education. I got the experience. I got the years. You know, I've been to the mountaintop. I, I beat one of the greatest fighters of all time. And, and the game didn't retire me. You, you ain't never seen nobody counting over me. <laughs> but I can go on the whole I can I can go on the whole goat list and show you where all of them at. You feel me? And you talk about the best defensive fighter of all time. Who took less punishment? Who took less punishment? Amateur or pro? I was say you don't I don't see a lot of scars <laughs> on you, Tone. I don't see a lot of scars on you. you feel me? <laughs> I ain't never been cut, bro. I ain't never been cut in a boxing match. And I fought all the killers. You feel me? You want to learn how to sit down in the pocket and be dressed down in defense? Come see me, bro. So if, with, with that being said then, Antonio, um, where does Loma go for, from here in your opinion? Should, should he call it a day, you know, at, at 36? Or do you think this may have resurrected his career? I mean, he's resurrected? I don't think it resurrected because his career wasn't dead. You know, he's a legendary, he's a legendary fighter, Hall of Famer. He's done, he came up the ranks unconventional, like we've never seen before, had some big fights. But truth be told, it, it'll be hard pressed for me to, to, to have Lomo beating any of the top four or five lightweights in the game. And that's, you know, that don't speak, you know, less of his ability. It just speaks volumes about these guys that are in front these guys that are on top right now i can see lomo giving all these guys fits for a few rounds i can see lomo winning some rounds but i can't see lomo uh uh beating these guys by three four rounds i can't see lomo knocking out any of these guys you know and from what i saw lomo wasn't as sharp as he usually is because when from a southpaw stance every time he threw that left hand that back foot came forward into the point where he was square, squared up, and then he didn't, couldn't come back with the right hook. That's the punch he was missing the whole night. And how couldn't he time Devin Haney when Devin Haney left hand was in the bread basket all night? Even when he came forward, he led with his chin all night. Devin Haney needs to have some, get more defensively responsible. When you talk about fighting sharpshoes like Shakur Stevenson and Tank Davis. That was evident. That was evident in the fight. You know, footwork. 
is needed. I don't see I don't see fighters boxing anymore. I see a lot of fighters fighting, but I don't see them boxing no more. You ain't seen a guy run. You ain't seen a guy use the whole ring yet. They come straight to the middle of the ring, stand flat footed, and fight, Bruh, I don't see nobody giving no head movement. If you a if you a steel target, you a sitting duck. I don't see nobody doing that, bro. I don't see nobody doing the the technical things that really open these fighters up. And truth be told, Devin Jab wasn't as effective as we normally see it being affected. You, you know what I mean? And because he's, he's coming from here with it, man, you got to get that hand up, bro. You feel me? Just little things like that. You, you know what I mean? It's it'll help along the way. It, it'll help big, you know, in, in spots. But the it, lessons- It's funny you mentioned that. Because I remember one time Bernard told me, and, and at first I didn't get it, but he, he's like, don't ever shoot your jab from the hip. And he, he made an analogy with like a- something to do with like a like a, a trajectory and stuff like that now, now i know you know you counter over you know with your lead if the the jab hands down but he's always like if there's one thing you remember is never jab from the hip never ever jab from the hip you know if you have the talent and the skill set you can be you can you can diversify a whole lot of things but you got to have that ability you feel me a lot of people don't just have that talent you feel me some that extra it bro but look look you're you're see okay that is very true but at some point it'll catch up to you and you're a perfect example of that roy you you caught up with roy like roy did everything wrong and you did everything let me, right. let me say this let me say this on record bro i was the only man in the world that could do what i did yep. there wasn't nobody else doing what i did bro mm -hmm. so y'all need to stop that shit if i didn't beat roy jones he'll still be fucking undefeated right now today bro so that's what I need the world to understand. There ain't no more Antonio Tarvers out there. You see? Mm. Yeah, it was me, bro. I'm him, Marco. I'm him, bro. Yeah. No, nah, you're not hearing me. Mm. I'm him. Period. So, so everybody want to say what they would have did, bro. They wouldn't have did shit if I didn't do it first. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't have did nothing, bro. So let me ask you this, yes. then. Um, you know, obviously you, you, you've been saying for a long time, like, hey, I'm here. I want to share my knowledge. Um, there's so many of, of these young guys that you feel that aren't getting that knowledge. And it's like you're you're telling everybody, come here, come here. I guess what caused the, the divide in, in terms of like skill, in, in your opinion, in like the last 10 to 15 years? Oh, man. To be honest. Yeah. Bro, I didn't have a chance. I, I didn't get a chance to. Um, it's been two decades. It's been a decade now for sure, man. I've been on the shelf. You feel me? I haven't been vibrant or involved. You feel me? But I'm a tool, bro. I'm a tool behind that mic. Uh, and, and by the way, I enjoyed you on behind Showtime. Behind that mic, bro. You were I'm great a on Showtime, man. I love listening. Bro, to I was great time. on Spike. I yeah. was great with ESPN, bro. That's another thing. That's what I mean when the sport, the sport won't even help itself grow because they won't put people in position that they know supposed to be in position, bro. You feel me? You know, I, I don't get that. They got it. Boxing got to help itself. They got to understand, bro. Like if they love the game, they got to do the right thing. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And I got too much experience not to be in the game. You feel me? I'm too, come on, I've done too much, bro. I earned it. Nobody gave me nothing. I was always, I, I, was, I, I was never favored in none of my title fights. Not one time was I favored. Come on, seriously? Not even against Clinton Woods? Not even against... Danny Green, I yeah. wasn't. Danny Green, I I'm surprised. I, Danny Green, to be honest, uh, like, he's so much more skilled than him. <laughs> but, but 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 I'm just saying because they they even they even do that with their heart. Mm. You feel me? Rather than with this, they still they set the line with their heart. You feel me? That's why I'll always be the the the, the most underrated because they'll never be able to see. 
You can't see your IQ in the ring, bro. You can't measure that on the tail of the tape. You feel me? Mm. You can't say that. But go back and look at my fights. Look how I made all the tough fights easy. Right? All the tough fights easy. And only, only one person got the best of me in my whole career. That was Chad Dawson. He was 14 years younger than me. He was a talent. And we were basically identical in size. It was like speed. If he was just 15 years younger than me, but he didn't knock nothing out. He ain't dominate nothing. And the second fight was arguably a draw. You could have, if you really serious about turning down the volume, you can see that fight. But I knew I wasn't getting no decision. And you know, his he had a great trainer. They they avoided the left hand. So you know, you know, it was a good win on his part. But other than that. I got the best of everybody I fought outside of Bernard Hopkins. So, you know, I had what I would think and consider legendary career. You feel me? But uh, my thing is, bro, like even through the amateurs, how didn't they see me coming, Marco? You know, but so my thing is now I'm transitioning, bro. I'm transitioning. I want to give some of this experience away to these fighters and give them the best chance to win, bro. Like, you feel me? And if you if you don't get better when you come over here, you ain't you ain't got to do no business with. It. I guarantee you, any fighter that come over here, he gonna get better. He gonna improve on everything that he's trying to do, and that's a guarantee. Because I know I can teach you something you don't know. I know I can teach you something you don't know about this game that's gonna benefit you in that ring. We got a whole structure down here, camp house. We got camp house. You feel me? We got a nice gym. We can really have a training camp experience. And that, that's out in Florida, right? Yeah, Tampa, Florida. Oh, there you go. The most beautiful cities in America. It's the number Florida one heat too. to move to. You got to get a sweat going Tampa on. Titles. We win in titles in <laughs> Tampa Bay. You feel me? <laughs>